folks. I'm Pastor David Ballard. I'd like to welcome you to another segment of Bethel's Bread today. We're going to be in the book of Romans in chapter 12. First three verses we're going to read to you. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given unto me that every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly, according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith. As I look at these verses, I see a trend here that God is trying to convince us that we should not be conformed to the world, be transformed by renewing of your mind. In other words, you're wanting to do things in a godlike manner that you just didn't do before. But then sometimes along the way, we start to think of ourselves a little too high. Sometimes we start to think of ourselves as more spiritual than probably we really are. Now, I think we ought to strive to serve the Lord and strive to get very close to Him, but we always must remember that we need God. We need to have His mercy. We need to have His grace every day. We need to be very close to God because this world, especially the direction it seems to be going, we need to stay very close to God. We need to realize that, boy, it's not because of us that we are who we are, where we are. It's because of Him. I'm just a sinner saved by grace. So are you. That's a sober thought. That is a thought that keeps us straight. That is a thought that keeps us seeking. That is a thought that keeps us close. Bible says to draw nigh unto him, he'll draw nigh unto you. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to be looking for him and everything we can do. Think soberly, not thinking higher of yourself than you ought to think. Because if you can look at yourself that way, it sure will help you as you're looking out at others. God is good to everybody. He's rich unto all that call upon him. I hope and pray that you realize he's been rich unto you as well. And he needs to be rich unto you and me every day of my life. I need him and I hope you realize that you do too. God is sure good. This has been another segment of Bethel's Bread. I hope it helps you, and I hope you have a great day. God bless you.